Hello everybody, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So I went to a warehouse sales this afternoon and I picked up for these guys in perfectly new condition. So not to be really new, they are like old stock and they want to sell it so they have space for all the products. And the warehouse is quite interesting, they do have Cyberverse there and some robot in disguise, also some Transformer, the last night toys. But my mainly focus is I pick up these guys with extremely cheap prices. They are, as you can see, the box is really old now. So I'm gonna do a quick open and review for you guys. And apparently, these guys I searched on Amazon and they cost like $40 or something. I searched for a bombshell, which is this guy right here on Amazon, and he's apparently he's worth like 44 bucks. I think I'm gonna research later and put it onto the next screen so you can see the price of each of these guys but for now let's crack them open And so we have all this four guys I just got here and I'm really surprised and let's see so inside them So we have a bunch of instructions which I don't really care, really care about And then we have these four cards And this is Bombshell Kickback Scrapno and Shockwave So this is a quite interesting fact here Because they are uh, one set and they are the same scale But then they got released at three different lines so we have Bombshell S, the Combined Wars, we have Titan Returns, Kickback, and we have Power of the Prime, Scrapno, and that is quite interesting. And Shockwave is also a Combined Wars one. So there they are, and let's begin with Shockwave. As you can see, this guy is covered in purple and that beautiful clear pink plastic. And to be honest, this is nothing new because we've all seen a lot of Shockwaves. And he just looked great with the other Insecticons. Then, again, nothing too exciting here. Just a nice and small figures. I got him for around $2, I think. That is a surprisingly cheap. And th with this condition over here. But he's just really nice. And I just love him. Uh, I'm gonna do this a very quick review here. And as you can see, all this nice, clear, and got a painted yellow eyes and painted horn, I think. And I'm gonna try articulation. His head can turn around 360. Oh, and it just popped out. It's on the ball joint, so don't worry too much. His arm can bring up and down like that. Full turn. All the way right this bend here. And I thought he got a double bended elbow, but apparently that one is bent backwards. That is more for transformation. Like that. And this is a swivel. And at this size is a hand. Back to the leg. It's a very loosey and freely bow joint. And that just I, I I like it. I like it a lot. And this we have a thigh swivel over here. And it's supremely bent. That is for transformation and the transformation gimmick for the feet. And now let's get to transformation. Because I want to just do this guy to do a quick review. So you want to bring the hips like that. 
bring down the leg and that is why we have a surprisingly good leg articulation let's collapse them together and we're done with his half now so bring this section up I could bend the head in bring it down like that now for the hands of the arms my bad you see this holes over here this one you want to bring it onto this tab up on the barrel of the gun bring that in it's the same as here and you just want to reposition these two arms so they get into the position this is going to be a quick review because this guy has got released so many years ago and we have shockwave in his blaster mode and this guy is compatible with combined world bruticus but i don't have that figure here at the moment so i'm gonna plug him in and post it later but then again this is a decent represent re representation of g1 shockwave which also transform into a gun and this can be called spaceship you just flip the barrel up it's a bit, a bit of a scratch but to me that's fine this is just okay, you know. Moving on. Here we have Scrapnel in his robot mode. And this is the problem with all the Insecticons that you got a lot of legs piping out, which is really not that good looking. But then again, he's a chief figure. If they got to sell him as a original price, I'd rather purchase them. This guy I got for like four dollars which is a really good price and as you see he got a lot of paint that bright yellow shape it is interesting to see the three Constructicon has three different color paint and that is a pretty nice and that is the articulation for the leg just a simple articulation his head is really hard to turn 360 but I don't really intend to for me they're just good for standing and not posing at all arms here move out of the way this is the band and it just pops out sorry I mean like there's nothing too exciting talking about this guy just the only exciting thing is how cheap they are to me and yes, that is the activation for the leg and of course you got a super ball here this is the movement of the feet but that is for transformation and it just pops out because of the ball joint and that will be it and uh, let's, get, let's get to transformation first you want to bring this whole section up like that and you will stay there for now now moving bend this leg section out like that then bring this arms in so as you can see there's a tab onto the waist and you will tap into this hole on the arms right here Go and see in there. One and two. We're done with that. And now we're nearly finished transforming this guy. And now you bend the feet. And you can bring this section up like that. You want to collapse them together, just click them together that then you can bring this whole section up and as you can see there's this tab I'm just gonna lock it into place onto the waist oh sorry this just got out of the view I'm just trying so hard to get this guy in and here we go bring him aside and bring him back close the stack and here's shrapnel which is a stack beetle and that is a really good looking stack beetle and he just stay there to be honest there's nothing to do with him there's no articulation with him at all at this insect mode and that is a pretty solid figure and I like that here we have bombshell and this guy is a form of a whatever called the beetle is I'm gonna watch Kamen Rider and I'll call it a Kabuto beetle so this guy is a pretty another pretty solid and plain figures to be honest with you there's nothing too exciting about this guy 
and as you can see here his face sculpt is what highlights him and he's got a big Decepticon logos onto his chest That is for transformation. The spread, kick to the front and back, and you're gonna bend. And it's actually this robot, this insect leg, if you remove them, you got a great knee bend, but that is for transformation. So this guy robot mode is okay to me. But let's try to transform this guy, just fold this piece up. And then rotate. Ah, sorry, and then bring out this insect leg, rotate the waist, and just clip them in. So there's this part over here. They actually you have to bring it from the upside down like that. You don't. You cannot just clip them in. And then bring this here, bend over the insect leg, and line it up like that. And now you can see these two will clip together. like that and there we go and here we have bombshell in this insect mode and this is a pretty nice looking insect and I think he's okay for his price I also pay two dollars for this guy at this condition and the solid I'm not going to see it so yeah there's nothing too excited to sell as scrap no solid nice looking insect mode and that will be it of this guy is nothing too exciting and here's the final one this is kickback and this guy has I'm really impressed with this guy due to his many clear parts such as the wings and the chest section and so he has a clear piece of wings which is really nice I enjoy this detail and actually I pay most for this guy I pay like six dollars for this guy here because of the clear plastic which is pretty dumb Try to bring that in. Okay. So yeah, these are pretty nice figures, and this head is made from rubbers, and they painted that, which is impressive. And yeah, I just enjoy having this three trio together. Nothing too exciting. You got a grasshopper head, and the wings, and the section can open because he's the part of the prime. So I think they include some features in there, but I'm not too sure. I don't collect the power of the prime. And his leg, his arm is quite long for his proportion. And his head can do a 360 like that. That's quite tight because it's a rubbery material. It can look up that far. That is quite interesting because that's a hinge instead of a bow joint. His arm can move out and rotation and then bend. It's all a bow joint, but the leg is also impressive. Okay. And this is the band. Very interesting. And to transform this guy, first you're gonna rotate the head. Like that. Bring up the grasshopper head. And we're done. And up next, we want to bend this arm section down like that. Bend it downwards. That and we want to rotate this piece to form a triangle. Like that, and just collapse them together. That could be the butt of the grasshopper. Quite hard to form, but it's okay.
Oh, he just keeps sticking out by the pain of the ass. Finally, I can cut them nice and straight. And then you're gonna bring this leg section up. And turn the wings out, like that. And now to this here, you just simply turn it, get over, get out the grasshopper leg. Collapse it like that if you want to. It's proportion, however, you can just spread however you want it. And here we have kickback in his grasshopper mode and to be honest with you guys at this mode I can only think of one thing that is going to be a good reference and the only articulation guard is the wing and the leg and at this form of back here I can only think of one thing Jump! And that's it, let's bring in our other Insecticons. So we here we have our trio, which is pretty nice to have them next to together to see all this difference. And we have they got the same design, the same color scheme, but they changed the color scheme here and there to make them look different. That is what I really enjoy about them. And here we have Shockwave, and this is my sale collection. <clears throat> so what do you guys think of this guy here with the price? I'm gonna show, I'm gonna say that I paid the total of $10 for all this guys over here. That is a bargain to go with you guys. So what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And do you want me to go on to more warehouse hunting, scavenger hunting to get this guy so you guys can see that how much they are worth now? Because apparently I look up on Amazon and they are. The Insecticons alone cost like $20 or $40, which is quite expensive for this size here. So that will be it for today guys, I'll see you later, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, turn on out.